Turning now to the fentanyl crisis, a proposed ballot initiative in California called Alexander's Law would crack down on dealers. The proposal would give them the same notice that those convicted of drunk driving in court. KION's Natalie Gutierrez reports tonight from Salinas. Lisa Marquez lost her only child, Fernando Sanchez, from a fentanyl overdose. Since then, she's been fighting for change. Lisa Marquez and in strong support, I lost my only son. The loss of her son is still fresh in Lisa Marquez's mind. Her 17-year-old son, Fernando Sanchez, died from fentanyl poisoning back in 2020. Marquez tells me she's pushing for the proposed 2024 ballot measure that would target fentanyl dealers. We need to start thinking of different ways to, to really... Um, fight this fentanyl, it's, 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 taking a whole gen it's taking out a whole generation. The proposal, known as Alexandra's Law, would give the same notice to fentanyl dealers of those who get convicted of drunk driving in court. Do it again, you can face homicide charges. It also sets a 10 to 12 year prison sentence for drug dealers whose drugs ends up killing someone. Marquez tells me she has gone to the Capitol to fight for Alexandra's law to be passed, but it hasn't gone anywhere. They're more concerned about um, overcrowding jails, and um, they say that we can arrest our way out of this. California lawmakers have blocked Alexandra's law, but the Monterey County District Attorney's Office tells me something needs to be done. The number of, of fentanyl deaths is just rising exponentially all over the state here in Monterey County as well. And for that reason, the DA's office tells me the 2024 proposed ballot measure will be a great first step. Alexandra's law would be a, a real deterrent to dealing fentanyl. Monterey County District Attorney's Office tells me people used to go to prison for selling drugs, but the California State Legislature changed that law. People who get caught go to county jail and can face up to three years. In Salinas, Natalie Gutierrez, KIO, and News Channel 46. And now we checked. According to the California Overdose Surveillance Dashboard, deaths related to fentanyl began to rise exponentially around 2019.